welcome to this old shop. Uh, it's like 5.30 or 6 in the morning, getting an early start today. But I want to show you guys uh, what I keep in my tool backpack, ready to go at all times. Just a quick little video, uh, something fun, so let's take a look. Here we go at my tool backpack. Um, I just got this thing. I like it because of all the straps, but uh, the first thing is my hard hat. Basic hard hat, all right? Who's on your head? <laughs> but uh, this is the best part about it. If you do any kind of work in uh, dark places or whatnot, get the headlamp. It's so awesome, all right? What else we got here? Let's open that up. So inside here, I'll keep a micro flathead. Let's see if you can see that. These things come in handy for doing little uh, 22 gauge wires and whatnot. Calibration stickers. Another micro. Can you see that? That's a real tiny one. See how tiny that is compared to my, my thumb? And then uh, this golden juice right here. It's called Tough Set. High performance pipe thread sealant. It says it's designed for HVAC connections. I use it on everything. It's this greenish kind of color liquid. You put on the pipe threads and uh, screw them together. And this is the best stuff we have ever used. Um, we don't have any leaks on pipe fittings or gauges or whatnot. High, it's, I think it's rated for, let's see here, Pressures, here we go. Negative 40 to 400 Fahrenheit and pressures up to 10,000 PSI. Again, that's tough set, guys. That's great stuff. What else do I keep in here? Marker, some yellow, which is it for uh, natural gas, if you don't know. Let's see if it says it. Natural gas pipe. Uh, Teflon tape. Ran the batteries for my flashlight. And then a, uh, a badge for a shipyard. Good job I'm in the middle of. What else we got in here? Let's see. I haven't uh, gone in this pouch in a while. Oh, some trash bags. Uh, quick story. We were working on a ship and we had to go down into a pipe tunnel, which if you don't know is like a long, small, small as in probably four feet tall um, tunnel that goes all the way the length of a ship and we had to go through it. And of course it had about four to six inches of wa oily water in the bottom of it. And we had to walk up 400 feet through this tunnel. So I uh, ended up using trash bags to make boots to keep my feet from getting soaked. I'll, I'll throw a picture up so you can take a look. Gloves. Nothing fancy, just uh, some leather gloves. And something else I recommend, manila wire tags. If you uh, work in calibration, sometimes people give you something, you got to remember what it is. I've got the memory of a goldfish, so I like to keep these things so I can write down where things go or who to give them back to or whatnot. That's it for that pouch. Let's take a look. Well, this backpack also has these little side clippers so you can really cinch things down. I use it for extension cords and things like that. Uh, what else here? Anyone guess what this is? Eh, it doesn't matter because I'm going to open it anyways. Ta -da. This is my handy dandy X Tech. What's the model? The X330. Works pretty good. Uh, obviously, Fluke is one of the better brands out there for these, this type of thing. But they're expensive. Um, I use this just for basic 
live or dead, you know, power on or power off on a circuit that I'm working on. I don't use it to actually calibrate things. And I have it marked as such. Uh, calibration not required for reference only. But uh, really comes in handy. Of course, they come with the Type K thermocouple if you're not familiar with it. See the little uh, exposed Type K bead right there? That guy plugs right in. What else we got? This little, little pouchy pouch. It's just a canvas pouch. Oh, hand. What do we got here? All the goodies. I'd call this the medium long flathead. Let's see how long it is. 10 inch crescent wrench. This is my favorite tool. Goes with me everywhere. Or 250 millimeters for uh, you metric guys watching. Electrically insulated needle nose pliers. Let's see who makes these. Uh, Boer. Boer. Let's see. A little dirty. 1,000 volts electrically insulated. I use those for doing obviously electrical kind of work. A good solid uh, foot head. Same length. This, this guy is awesome. Um, it's waterproof. It's uh, it's got gaskets on it, so uh, there's like a little key that this little piece right here pops into there, and you turn it to get the batteries out. It also glows in the dark. Let me see if I can cut the lights here. Give me a second to find it. Well, that didn't work. What if we try in here real quick? There they are. Clearly just a flashlight. But I don't think you can see it, but it's a, it kind of glows. I shouldn't say kind of, it does glow. Well, that was a big fail. <laughs> oh well, let's keep going, huh? Ooh, real quick. Sh these Shore Shot uh, sprayers? Awesome. So it's a, it's got a relief valve, an air pressure valve. You can get different attachments for here, and a trigger. So you take this off, and we pour in uh, non-aerosol brake clean. And then you pump, you use your air chuck and put, you know, 50, 70 PSI into here. Now here, watch this. Then it's, it literally sprays out brake clean for us. But it's not throwing it all in the air. And then I like to hit a, this exhaust system to exhaust those fumes out. But, sorry, I got off track there. It happens. Let's keep moving, huh? Okay. Electrical tape, that's pretty self-explanatory. Ooh, channel lock, brand channel locks. I've had these guys for a long time. These are, I wanna say these are model 430 channel lock brand. I've had them for probably seven years. Use them for so many different things, really awesome. There's the size of them. And now we're getting into uh, keep a few rags these things are really cool if you've never seen one who makes this vaco so see how that thing slides Let's see if I can get a good angle for you so watch what happens see how those two split tips turn into one and they're fatter so what this does if you're taking off a screw that's not really a screw, I'm just doing this for whatever purposes. And you ever try to unscrew something and the screw kind of falls out and you're like, ah oh, crap, it's everywhere. This one, you put it in, and then you slide that down to fatten it and, and unscrew it and the screw will stick there. Oh, I want to show you guys so bad. Let me see if I can find it. Find a screw. Ah, oh, I don't have one. Well, 
I'll try to show you next time. But I have a big one, medium guy, and a little baby one. Awesome tools. Uh, wire brush for threads, insulated uh, ratchet extension. Uh, I got a ratchet kit, I don't always carry it. This is my old flashlight. I keep it, um, sometimes there's, I'm working with someone and they don't have a flashlight. It's just nice to have one I can get to. What else? That's my main little kit right there. Wire cutters and strippers. Again, channel lock brand, 908. I guess you can tell what brand of tool I really like. Handy dandy homemade hacksaw. <laughs> uh, 12 TPI? Where's she at? 12 inch 24 TPI. So I use this like a uh, pressure gauge that's mounted to a wall and you can't get the screw out. Put it back here and cut out whatever. Works better than you think. I'm also having a backup of out here. More tape. Badass screwdriver. And then I keep my ratchets in here. My ratchet wrenches, I should say. Gear wrench. 7 16 You've never seen these. See that black piece? That literally is a ratchet. Awesome, awesome tool. Oh, there's my ratchet set. I thought I'd put it somewhere else. It's just a little uh, quarter inch guy. Comes in handy. Okay, so that's it for that pouch. And then I got one more pouch here. This guy it should be empty. Yep. So I use this one for my laptop or paperwork pouch. Um, paperwork is in whatever job I'm doing calibration certs, worksheets. Etc. Etc. So that's it. Um, that's everything I have in my work bag that I keep there. It also has a spot for a camel bag, camel bag, camel pack, whatever you call it, insulated. You can see the shiny in there, and the hose is supposed to come out. I um, I almost bought one to go in there, but. I didn't want to have to clean it out because I'm lazy that way. So I just put a big old cold water bottle in there wherever I'm going. And it's uh, great. So I think that's it. I appreciate it, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy this. I have fun making these. And that's the whole point of this channel. Um, I'm going to start trying to put out some more. Some Let me re-say that. I'm going to try and put content out more regularly for fun. Um, the next thing I'm going to do... I have something to calibrate over here on my electronic multi-product calibrator with the coil workstation. Got the CA71. Where is it? CA71 over here that needs to get done. So, um, yeah. Appreciate it, guys. See you next time.